And today, former Democratic presidential candidate Senator Chris Dodd of Connecticut endorsed Barack Obama. Let's listen up. Uh, having spent a quarter of a century in the United States Senate, I made a strong case on the base of experience. And look at the results I got uh, in the campaign uh, here. So while experience, I think, is valuable, it isn't just experience here. It's maturity, it's judgment, it's balance. It's the ability to speak in a way that touches people, uh, that, uh, that, that I think people are looking for in, in the national leadership this time around. One. Well, that's the big question. Senator Dodd, thank you for joining. I have a hunch that one of the reasons you're for Barack Obama is that you share his worldview as a former Peace Corps guy, that you do want better relations with the third world. Well, that's true. I think it's very important. It is, uh, domestic issues are dominant uh, in Ohio and uh, Texas tonight. People are worried about their jobs and health care, their kids' education, energy, environmental issues. But we also want to see our country regain its footing around the world, and I think Barack Obama offers that opportunity as well. He can not only win an election, but I think he can also do something that we're desperate for, and that is to start to move this country in a direction that can regain that moral high ground that we'd like to see America represent. Did the fact that he carried uh, Connecticut have something to do with your decision today? Not entirely, no. And, and frankly, Chris, it was within the last 36 hours, I, part of me said, why not just sit this out, sit in the bleachers. I've been a candidate for a year and a half. In fact, I said this morning, I started out by saying, I envisioned actually this press conference over a year ago, that I was standing with Barack Obama. The only distinction was, I envisioned Barack Obama endorsing me as the presidential candidate uh, around. Right. So, uh, uh, humor aside on all of this, uh, I decided that you can't sit in the bleachers on this one. I think there's a danger of this campaign becoming highly divisive. I think there's a danger of this campaign running to August. Uh, to the convention, which I think could be highly detrimental to the Democrats winning that election. Uh, obviously, uh, Mrs. Clinton is a good friend. I called her last night. It was a difficult conversation, as you might imagine. But I always believe you've got to call people at moments like that. And uh, she'll have a great future. I'm confident as well. But I think at this moment, Barack Obama represents our best chance to win that election, but more importantly, bring the country together. On that note, Chris, let me just say the when you see these massive crowds, it isn't just about Barack Obama. Those 18,000 people in the Hartford Civic Center or at the University of Cincinnati last night, those are people who are looking for this country to get back on its feet again. That's what really those crowds represent. They're coming out to see him, but they're coming out to be heard as well. And I think you need yeah. people missing that point. It isn't, it isn't about him. It's about what they're seeking for our country. And I think he represents that. And that's why I'm standing with him tonight. What is he like when you deal with him as a senator in the cloakroom and when there's no camera on? He's a very comfortable guy in his own skin. I mean, I uh, just talking here a minute ago, and there's a, there's a calmness about him uh, that, that I think he gets and understands, which I found maybe most surprising, given the fact that he's relatively new to all of this, uh, that you walk into a room with 17,000 people, I don't care how calm you might be, that's got to affect you. Barack Obama understands how, how, how ephemeral this is, how fleeting this can all be. He understands it's also people crying out for some change in our country, desperate for us to get back on our feet. I think he understands that too many Americans think America's best days are behind her. And that's not the legacy we want to leave to our children. We want to leave a country that's more optimistic and confident about itself. And so I, I, I get a feeling here that he gets that, understands that, is not going to be swayed by the emotions of the moment, but determined really to uh, do what's necessary to bring the country together, reach out to people, Democrats and Republicans. For the first time in 25 years, I'm not only hearing about Reagan Democrats, I'm hearing about Obama Republicans. And that's a, that's a seismic change in politics in this country. Do you think if Barack Obama is elected president and wins this nomination fight and goes on to win the general election, that there should be a shakeup in the congressional leadership as well? Or should we have the same people there like Harry Reid, uh, the establishment? If the establishment candidate, Hillary Clinton, loses this fight for the nomination, should the establishment team on the Hill stay there or should there be a new team led by someone like you? Well, no, I, I'm, I'm happy where I am, Chris, entirely. And our leaders are doing a good job. I think you had a chance of building on majorities here as well in both the House and the Senate. Harry Reid really? has to deal with the thinnest of margins here. It's very difficult. You know this place well, Chris, from your years up here. It's hard these days to get these kind of majorities to move forward. 
Uh, th that's not what we're looking for here. I think these leaders want as well a president they can work with, that can help us move the country in a different direction, that can motivate members of, around the country uh, to come back to Congress with a determination to sit down and get a job done on health care, mm -hmm. on job creation, on energy policy, on foreign policy. That's what's missing here. That's why Barack Obama can be so important to the country. Okay, great. Thank you for coming on today. Today you endorse Barack Obama. Senator Chris Dodd of Connecticut.